Okay, my fellow people, we are going to the boot camp that these guys are in charge of, and I'm gonna try to film a proper video of the boot camp. Yes. Are you excited? I'm excited, super excited. Let me come to the other side. Let's see what we have planned for the workout. So, can you tell us what we have? Uh, well, we start with the warm up, and in between, we have some different exercises. Then we do a workout of the day and we end with a birthday workout because Alvin turned 36. Sounds good. Yes. Uh, I'm lucky to be behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be the one who is working out. Let's see how everything turns out. I'm pretty excited because it's first time for me to film this kind of active action where a lot of things are happening at the same time. And there is also, I think, 10 people. Uh, eight. Eight, eight people, plus Kimi and Elwin and me. So let's take a little bit pineapple and then let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You are is packed, Elvin, are you ready? Anytime Every day, anytime All day, all night All day, all night I'm ready to see you sweat <laughs> So, basically the thing is that these guys, my friend Elvin and Kimi they are from Netherlands and they live in Lagos, Portugal, and they have this boot camp where they throw twice a week a very, very good and sweaty practice for people living in this area. There is usually 10 to 15 guys attending to the boot camp and uh, I was last Saturday there shooting photos and then we got an idea to make a video out of the boot camp as well. As well and that is what we are now doing. So it's Wednesday evening and it starts at 7. And um, I have one hour to film while they work out. It will be exciting for me because it's first time, as I said, that when I'm shooting this type of active action sports style of video. So let's see how it turns out to be. You'll see soon. Can you guys tell quickly that how long you've had this boot camp go thing going on? Since uh, March last year. It started because we were both uh, wanted to start a, a group training yeah. outside because that's also the the thing we like the most to do the training outside instead of always inside. And has it been going on the whole winter? Yes. Yes, almost a uh, whole year through, only not when we went on vacation. So. Anything to add or say, Alvin? Well, the, the boot camp is not only about training itself. We also create a community where people can meet each other, uh, people who live here, people who are here on a holiday. So it's not only workout, it's a combination of a community and and people. get sweaty. <laughs> yeah, and people getting to know each other. Yes. That is cool. I was there first time uh, last Saturday and I already met many interesting people and I think that's the best part of this kind of stuff. You get to meet like-minded people and do cool stuff with them and maybe get lasting friendships. Important stuff. We are soon there so I'll have to put my camera off and then prepare the bootcamp shoot. Hello, welcome to Bootcamp Lagos. My name is Elwin and this is my partner Kimmy. Yes, uh, welcome. We organize a bootcamp training outside with uh, bodyweight exercises and cardio. And we do it twice a week. Yes, and we do it uh, not only to move, but also to create a community. It's very nice, you can meet people here, get new connections. And always afterwards we have some fun time. So it's not only sweat, it's having a good time with locals, with people from outside of Lagos. So come join us and see you next time.
This is how we do a workout at Bootcamp Lagos. So if you want to join us when you visit Lagos, this is our number below. I wanted to dial into this video after editing it to tell you my appreciation towards you for watching it. So I just spent one month in Portugal in Lagos with my friend Elvin and Kimi who are living there and they are having this bootcamp Lagos which is basically outdoor workout in a group twice a week and Kimi and Elvin are hosting and coaching people through that workout. I wanted to help in my own way Kimi and Elvin to grow bootcamp Lagos. So I thought that maybe I will make them some professional looking video material which will help them spread the message because the course is so good. For example, I got many friends from all those group sessions I went in to film or shoot photos. And it's so nice to have people that when I go to Lagos I have a lot of friends there. So the whole video was shot with my A7S III that I'm using currently to film this video. I had gimbal with me, but I had some issues balancing it correctly with my A7S III and 24-70 lens. So I ended up using only the camera body and the lens to shoot all those videos. One big challenge that I faced almost every time we were shooting was that the sun was already up and it was super bright. So when I changed the direction which I was shooting at, the exposure changed quite a lot. And the weather was so bright that I couldn't see much from my camera screen. And at that time I didn't have my screen that I have now on top of my camera. So it was hard to judge that how well the shots are exposing. And from that I also learned how important it is to have a proper camera monitor. You can see from the screen directly how the video will look like when you pull it to your editing software and correct the colors. So at the end of the day, all the clips that I shot turned out very, very well in my opinion, because when I went to shoot, it was completely new stuff for me. I never before shoot this kind of active uh, sports stuff. Good experience. I learned so much. So it was so valuable for me to go out and shoot for them. And I think they got pretty nice marketing material for their bootcamp. When it comes to the music I chose to this video, I spent several hours scrolling through art list and uh, epidemic sound, but I couldn't find the perfect song that I had in my mind for this video. So I ended up choosing the one that suits the best in my own opinion. It was this rhythmic, not too long song, and it had some nice aggressive rhythmic parts which I think is really good to have in this kind of sports video because you can then use those when you do transitions and stuff like that. For the logo I wanted to do something simple. I was looking for this cheater or this like digital logo reveal but I couldn't find the one that I wanted to have so I ended up using keyframes to sort of like uh, fade the logo in which became quite cool with the sound effects. But that's pretty much it. I'm really proud how well this turned out to be and I really really hope that I have a chance to film similar stuff in the future soon. So if you have some projects where you need a video creator hit me up. I really appreciate you watching this video and as I mentioned earlier please leave a comment what do you think. Also consider subscribing the channel and I hope you are enjoying your day whatever day of the week it is you are watching this video. I'll see you here next time.